Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. Today we're going to do a delayed pride look. I just watched this great documentary on Netflix done by Laverne Cox called Disclosure and it's about trans representation in the media. And I think I'll be discussing that today. And I'll be doing a delayed pride look by this really great face chart artist called Milk1422. And I'll be trying to accomplish this um, face, okay, for pride. Let's see how I do, so just like, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos, okay? So let's just erase this face. Okay, brows and sideburns gone and face tapes on. Today, I'm going to try to, as I said, I'm going to try to do this face chart by um, Mick1422. I'm going to use this Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser from my Drugstore Challenge, which I actually like to burn up. Silicone base. I'm going to try to do this look with creams today, so I'm going to put down a nice base of silicone. Okay, let that sink in. And then I'm going to go in with my Derma Blend. Okay, um, Smooth Liquid Camel and Camel 30N. Put some on my palette here. Not a bad shade match. So this look is going to be a very clowny look, rainbow brow, rainbow clown eye, and a rainbow lip. And the rest of it is very neutral and natural, very supermodel. I also wanted to talk about Disclosure, which is on Netflix. Came on just in time for Pride, and it's part of um, Laverne Cox's um, deal with Netflix. I think it's really, really good. The way that they managed to get so much footage from all the different movies and TV shows that show trans people. So I'm going to go through five takeaways that I think this um, documentary really drove in for me. Number one, I think we're really at a time of unprecedented trans visibility in the media. When I was in America, it was about the time when Orange is the New Black came out and Laverne Cox was of course starring in that. And then of course Transparent on Amazon.com and I watched them all. And also around the time Caitlyn Jenner came out and was one of the most visible trans people in America. So that was probably around 2016, 2017. It was really quite interesting to see uh, suddenly trans people being brought to the forefront. And of course now we have shows like Pose and of course all the controversy about trans people on uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm gonna contour with my Bronze Venus stick. Just a little bit here. A little bit of this goes really long way. I'm gonna buff that in with my brush. In America around that time, there were all these uh, nonsense about trans uh, people, trans bathrooms, the bathroom bill, and all that. With unprecedented visibility comes unprecedented backlash. And that's something you really have to keep in mind. For some reason, someone's gender identity is also so threatening to the status quo. And this has of course led to a lot of violence against trans people. Trans people are constantly being attacked and being killed in larger and larger numbers in America. Okay, trans women of colour have the highest rates of death and of course are the, are the ones most affected by HIV and AIDS. And, and they're still also being excluded from many walks of life. Now I'm going to use some white. I'm going to use my Meron uh, white to further intensify my highlight. So unfortunately, trans people, although they were the ones who started the riots at Stonewall and kicked off the gay rights movement, were excluded from a lot of um, future gay rights um, policies. And it's mainly because gay white men who took over the movement thought that they had to have an air of respectability. So trans people were systematically excluded from a lot of the talks and were pushed into the background. And now is finally the time for them to speak up. Okay, so I think the base is done. I'm also going to be using creams mainly for the rest of this look. Okay, so um, in order to help me out, I'm going to scatter these shapes on my face first and then fill them with creams using my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. Okay, and I'm going to use this Makeup Forever um, Artist Color Pencil in Wherever Walnut. Okay, this requires some concentration, so I'm just going to sketch out this eye here.
So now I'm going to fill that in with my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. Whew, lots of brushes today. I'm going to use as many of these flat, small brushes as I can. Okay, and I'm just going to go in with the colors, the cyan into the green, into the yellow, into the pink, into the red, and then purple. Point number two of what is very important when it comes to trans issues is that gender identity and sexuality is completely different. Okay, so a person who identifies as male or female can either be gay, lesbian, bisexual, or, or anything in between. So um, just because you're trans does not mean you're gay. Okay, and I think that's a very important thing to um, think about. And when we fight for our rights, our promise for equality must take into account all marginalized groups. Okay, so we can't just say just because we are gay, we must we ignore um, race issues or women's issues or trans issues. And the corner here. And the green is a little bit of a lighter green. I'm gonna mix some of the green actually with a bit of the yellow. I'm just gonna place the colors first, okay? And then I'm gonna blend them up later. And I think when we're talking about this issue, it's very important to make the distinction between transgender people and people who do drag. Completely different things also, okay? So as Monica Beverly Hills from RuPaul's Drag Race said, drag is what I do, trans is what I am. And drag, in this case, this means dressing up or changing a gender expression or playing with gender. Whereas trans people uh, identify as that gender. So for example, a trans person can also do drag and they don't have to do drag. But a lot of people do discover that they're trans by doing drag. Is this something that has bub bubbled into our collective consciousness that we really should take note of? Adding more green to my palette, okay? And as I move along, this gets more and more green. Okay, so the green goes up. So now it's just pure yellow. Okay, and the yellow goes into red. So I'm just going to use the same brush, dip that into the red. There's going to be an orange between there when I blend later. Let's blend. Okay, so this is moving into the pink, into the purple. This ends with blue and this purple in between. So I'm just gonna fill this up with blue. Okay, mixing in some of the pink to give me this purple. This purple also goes here to make the eye, the teardrop. Okay, so now you go back in and blend all that up. Okay, you must be very careful. Keep your brushes separate. Know which brushes you're using, so that you don't um, you don't get it too muddy. Okay, it looks a little bit messy now, but I'm going to go over everything again with powders and then clean it up. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me finishing powder that I got from the drugstore. Okay, and then Cody Air Spun. Set everything else. So now just knock off that excess powder. I'm going to go into some contour first. Okay, today I'm just going to, I'm going to go into my NYX contour palette using the, the darkest shade on a contour brush. And um, because there's a very neutral eye, I'm just going to contour the eyes today rather than go in with a full shadow. Okay, so using the warmer shade, deepen up the socket and bring that into the nose. Okay, and the other eye is just a very neutral eye. And using the fox eye technique, I'm just gonna contour this part here. Okay, just to lift the eye a little bit. Because we're not doing much, too, too much shadows here. 
And before I go in with all the colors, I'm just going to bronze up the face with uh, my Glamour Bronze and Icon using a nice big fluffy brush. And to catch any fallout, I'm going to use my translucent powder again, just to bake here. Yeah. Okay, and now I've got another set of brushes to go in with other colors. And I'm going to move in between my rainbow palettes, my Morphe rainbow palette and my Colored Rain rainbow palette. Starting with the Cyan. And I'll be using from the Morphe palette, there's a pastel blue called Art. And point number three that I took away from disclosure that I thought was very important is that, that our biases and our reactions to other people are strongly socialized. So from what we see on TV and movies, we tend to internalize that and react the same way whenever we see that in real life, which is quite powerful. I mean, the, the power of art and the power of movies to make someone respond a certain way, I think is extremely um, interesting. One of the main examples in the in the documentary was that in Ace Ventura Pet Detective, there's this whole extended sequence at the end when um, when Jim Carrey's character discovers that this woman was actually a man and this, everyone's just vomiting everywhere and we're socialized to respond to transgender people and any gender co non-conforming person with disgust and that's actually something that's learned. Okay, so I think that's very very powerful and we need to check ourselves every time we um, interact with a trans person. Okay, going into the green, uh, nature. Just packing on the colors now. Okay, and at the same time, these damaging stereotypes are um, reinforced by media. So for example, in Silence of the Lambs, you know, a person who puts on women's clothing and women's skin is a psychopath killer, and the same in Psycho and all these movies. And because we don't know that many trans people, we tend to uh, internalize these stereotypes. And that can be extremely, extremely damaging and take many, many years to, you know, unravel. Actually, yellow, I want to use the Coloured Rain Yellow, which is much, much more intense. And this is Lemon Drop. Okay, these damaging stereotypes work both ways. Just think about it. How many Republicans do you know? How would they feel if we judged them by their worst caricature? For example, Donald Trump. Okay, so if Donald Trump is the quintessential Republican, wouldn't all of them be painted with the same brush? No, of course not, because everyone is different. Every single person has a different life experience and cannot be um, boiled down to a single stereotype, right? Okay, I'm just working a little bit to blend the colors into each other. I think I'll be using a color switch also, okay, so I don't um, have to wash so many brushes after this. Okay, next going in with a pink using Party Drip from the Colored Rain. Okay, red using Life. And using Pride, the orange. It's very important now that we have actually trans people working on media, for example, Janet Mock um, directing and writing um, episodes of Pose and Hollywood so, so that there's um, much more visibility of trans people, not only in front of the screen, but behind the scenes as well, uh, controlling the narrative of their, um, of their characters. And that's very important in making sure that people have an accurate depiction of trans people. So now we're going into the blues. and love wins drag this down drawn on that tear neo blue from colored rain almost done okay i'm gonna fill in this brow Okay, so now just using a little bit more of the Derma Blend, squeeze that onto my palette and some of the white, just gonna clean up the edges. Okay, and now going, going with eyeliner, just gonna try to outline all this. Okay, this requires a lot of concentration.
Um, okay, this requires a lot of concentration, so I'm just gonna do this off camera and be right back. That was quite difficult. I've lined them with um, a combination of both the Morphe and the House Labs liners, and I've given myself a little bit of a wing there too. And I'm also going to use my new Morphe Pride um, 10G Glisten Up palette to just add some pops of shimmers here and there. I especially want to use this um, Inspire Change, which is this um, light blue, to pop this inner brow here. Okay, and also the inner corner. And I think we can use with our finger green. The fourth point that I think disclosure the documentary drive home is that representation matters. When you see all these trans people like Laverne Cox, Jen Richards, Alexandra Billings, all talk about how they felt when they first saw how a trans person was first depicted on stage, it really gives them a sense of that they're not alone in this world. And that's why I think we need to challenge this IMDA ruling that we can't um, depict LGBT people on camera and in, and, and in media in Singapore because, you know, people growing up need to see that they're represented in this world. I'm going to use my Wonderlust palette, the blush shades, just to brighten up. All right, um, I'm drawing my nostrils. Let's pop some white in the center and highlight the top of that with the white eyeliner. I'm using my Pat McGrath highlights and on the tip of the nose. I'm just going to pop on the lash, draw on this bow, and I'll be right back with the finished look. And this is the finished look. Drew a rainbow bow here, popped on a wig and some lashes, and I'm done. So this is my Milk 1422 face chart pride realness. How's it look? Crazy Clown meets Taylor Swift. Okay, so, so the last point that I think Disclosure really hits home, and this is the twist at the end, is that representation alone is not enough. Representation is a good way to get a foot in the door, to let people see us, and to let people know us, but without the systemic change, representation is just tokenism. So tokenism is just by including a minority and saying, oh look, we've done our due diligence, but no, okay? The real change happens behind the scenes with policies and with people working to make sure that oppressive policies are all taken care of. Alright, so Cox actually said, this is a quote, one should be wary of celebrating representation in which a few people are elevated and a majority of people are still suffering. So if you happen to be, let's say, a gay person who is quite well off and part of the majority, you will not be able to empathize and to see the plight of people below you. So I think it's very important for us to reach out into the community and to make sure that the weakest among us are all lifted up and we protect our most vulnerable. So I hope you like this video and if you want to see more like it, please like, subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos, alright? Okay, so happy Pride everyone! Bye!